Ben McKee, Patrick Brown, Go Balls 24-7 here on campus on Monday of another very big week of Tennessee football. Tennessee plays Georgia at 3.30 Eastern on CBS this Saturday. The last time Tennessee fans will have to deal with Gary Danielson. Ever. Ever as he moves on to the Big Ten. Uh, just got done speaking to Josh Heupel. Also spoke to Karat Garland, Tennessee defensive lineman, and also spoke to Jacob Warren. We'll start with Josh Heupel. Uh, first things first, Dante Thornton, he will miss the remainder of the season. Josh Heupel said that they will review where Dante is at as they get into bowl season and postseason play. Uh, but right now, Tennessee's back where they started after the Brew McCoy injury and, and trying to figure out this wide receiver rotation once again. Yeah, we were talking about it during the game Saturday, Ben, and it's like they only brought seven receivers. And one of them was Jack Jancic, who's a walk-on. The other was D. Williams, who was playing defensive back a month ago. And uh, they, yeah, that's it. And then, you know, you lose D. They didn't have Squirrel for a couple plays there. So, uh, I don't, you know, I think they can play Nathan Leacock in every game and still keep his red shirt. So maybe that's – I don't know if they're going to do that. But uh, certainly they're very thin at that position now with a couple guys out for the next two games. And obviously this is a, a Georgia secondary that's very good. So uh, it's going to be a big step up for, for Chaz Nimrod, Caleb Webb. We'll see who starts there. And uh, they're going to need the other two guys to, to play well as uh, – in addition to, to pick up the slack for not having Dante in there, who made a great play on Saturday and had been playing better as of late. Yeah, in terms of offensive issues in general uh, at Missouri, the theme continues to be that it's self-inflicted wounds, whether it was turnovers, whether it was penalties. And, and Josh Heupel today talked about needing to take accountability and just kind of step up and, and just not do it anymore. Yeah, he said that they, you know, the post-whistle stuff has to stop. And then offensively, you know, you get a holding penalty, it's because you're not in the right body position, you're not playing the right fundamentals, you're not playing the right technique, that's stuff you can address and work on in practice. So uh, that's where it's got to start there. But, you know, this is a team that's been heavily penalized, one of the most heavily penalized teams in the SEC for all three of high bowl seasons now. It's only that last season they were good enough on offense to overcome it. And now, uh, because their offense is more limited for whatever reasons, you know, we can get into that later, but, um, you know, it, th those penalties hurt more. You know, those penalties are, are harder to overcome, and certainly they were for Tennessee against Missouri. Yeah, and defensively, I asked about Elijah Herring and, and not to single Elijah Herring out. Josh Heifel talked about his issues being his eyes not being in the right place, uh, missing tackles, and again, not to call Elijah Herring out. That was a consistent theme throughout the defense. Yeah, nobody on defense covered themselves in the glory of that game, and, and Elijah looked like a young player playing against a team that uh, was running a, a – a run scheme that Tennessee hadn't really seen a whole lot this season. That wide zone, that mid zone that they, that, that Missouri ran, those off tackle plays, they, they really stress you at, at linebacker. And, you know, they got a 5 7 running back running behind a bunch of big offensive linemen. It's hard to find him. And, and uh, Herring was a guy that, that, you know, really all the linebackers, there were too many plays where they just weren't there. Too many, you know, wide open scenes that we see Tennessee open up that Missouri was opening up against Tennessee. And, uh, you know, that was disappointing for the defense. And then, um, you know, they, they, Elijah missed some tackles to the teams continue to throw the ball to the running back, throw the ball to the tight ends, work the middle of the field against uh, in, in those areas. And, and Tennessee has to fix a lot of things on defense coming out of that game. And uh, certainly they're, they're going up against Georgia this week. He's playing really, really well offensively. Now they have Brock Powers back and Ladd McConkey back for, you know, I don't know how many games Georgia's had those two guys in the lineup, but they're both back now and, and that's going to be tough for Tennessee. Yeah, lastly, uh, good news on the injury front. Doesn't sound like Marion McDonald getting banged up at Missouri is, is going to cost them too much. Yeah, Heifel said he could play this week. Obviously, Jordan Thomas played most of the game at the star position. A uh, young player that, that needs a, needs some playing time to, to develop. And, uh, you know, but McDonald's a guy that the staff really trusts and plays a lot, so we'll see if he's able to, to give it a good this weekend. Absolutely. It's a big weekend. Tennessee and Georgia, 3.30 this weekend on CBS. We'll have plenty of coverage all week long leading up to it. He's Patrick Brown. I'm Ben McKee.